What's up guys, my name is Austin Black and I'm gonna be talking to you about the SLR Magic 35 millimeter F1.2 Cine Lens. So this is a really interesting lens. Um, for me, I was looking at getting the Sony Zeiss 35 millimeter F1.4 and I saw this lens, it was about $300 at B&H, and it was an F1.2, which is something I really thought was cool. That's what I was looking for out of the 35 millimeter F1.4, is that really shallow depth of field, but also a really nice standard focal length, like 35 millimeters. Um, I ultimately picked this up and I said, I'm gonna return this thing if I don't like it and pick up the Zeiss. But you know what? I love this lens and I'm not gonna return it and it saved me like a thousand bucks going with this one. So immediately after I purchased this lens, I started shooting with it at f1.2 and I noticed a lot of things that there was a lot of character that is vignetting and some softness on the edges, but in the center it was pretty sharp and it just gave you this super smooth creamy bokeh. It's super nice. It is really hard to focus at f1.2 and this is a completely dumb lens. You're not getting any autofocus capability. You're not getting any information being sent to the camera. So if you're running a Sony system, you're going to have to set up the optical steady shot in camera when you switch lenses. But you can see you've got the nice declicked aperture. It's a super smooth aperture ring there's a lot of resistance and it's really nice and this produces some really beautiful round bokeh that i'm super super fond of now i don't use this lens very often for photography i find that sometimes it can give kind of a cool dreamy ethereal effect for photos you're going to have to frame your subjects in the middle though especially if you're shooting wide open because that's where the sharpness is and if you want to compose later you'll have to crop in but I've shot a lot of video with this lens and honestly, out of my whole arsenal of lenses, this one is probably the most fun to use just because of that razor thin depth of field that everybody's looking for. It's an affordable price. This thing is just super, super cool. So as far as the build quality of the lens, it is actually really surprisingly heavy. It honestly might be heavier than my Sony a7 III. This thing is made out of metal. It's super robust. It's, it's actually really small. And I wonder how they fit the 1.2 aperture into such a small lens. Like this thing is, is tiny for what you're getting, especially when you compare it to that 35 millimeter F1.4 Zeiss that I got to use at the B&H Depth of Field conference. Now, this lens does have some negatives. A lot of people do not like the vignetting. This lens has some crazy, crazy flares. Um, it can be soft at times, but really I think that people who are looking for lenses with character for their filmmaking, giving it kind of this ethereal, dreamy look would really love this lens. So anyways, this is a cinema lens. So I'm gonna take Kristen to film a little cinematic sequence and we're just gonna see what it can do, especially in low light situations. So enjoy. Okay, that's it. My name is Austin Black. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing this lens, you can check out the links below. They're affiliated links and it, it helps support the channel. I appreciate it if you do. If you don't, that's okay too. Thanks for watching.